Hey, it's Cliff, and it's been a minute since I've done a Corium and Sologenic update video. The reason for that is I think we all just kind of knew once the mainnet launch happened that the price was going to fall off. So before I brought out a video where I discuss how much people actually made on their airdrop, I wanted to wait for the price to actually stabilize. So it's been, uh, what now? The, the, the mainnet launch happened 24 March, and it's now 9 April, so I think now is a good time to do the video because we've had just enough time to stabilize the price so that's what i want to do today is to show you exactly how much people made off the corium airdrop in us dollars so just getting right into this i will paste all of these links down below if you're someone that's kind of new to sologenic and corium i think a lot of these tools that i'm going to show you are really helpful and i think you should definitely have them in your toolbox so First things first, what I have here is XRP scan. So what Corium does, they'll decide on a wallet that they're actually going to distribute the tokens in, which is the one that I have right here, will be pasted down below in the description. So what you can do with this, you can actually come through and see all the different uh, transactions that the Corium actually made. And it, if you search for your wallet address, you can actually go in here and see if they have gave you the money or not. So if you look at the date here of the second to the last transaction, you can see that the transactions for the airdrop stopped the 2nd of April. So at this point, if you do not have your airdrop, either something was wrong with your trust line or you were using a exchange and the exchange has not issued your tokens yet. So that's something you're gonna have to reach out to, let's just say in this instance, it was BitTrue here and BitTrue hasn't given you your tokens. You gotta reach out to their support team. Hey. You guys said you were going to support the airdrop, but what time are you actually going to give me my tokens? Don't let these exchanges screw you. Definitely make a fuss about it. Moving on from there, I got a breakdown of the actual numbers that went into the Corium airdrop. So there is a fixed supply of Corium that can actually be given out in this airdrop. And the more people that actually had trust lines set to get the airdrop means the less Corium you're going to get, right? Because it's a shared pool. So when we look at the snapshot that was done on Corium, it looks like there was about 90 million that participated. So you are sharing your value of that pool between these uh, people who set the trust line here. So for Solo, it looks like there was about 200 million. And for XRP, there was 10 billion. So you know when it comes to XRP, if there was 10 billion, uh, set to this trust line that means your ratio is going to be pretty low and i can actually get into that here so so for each corium that you have you are getting 1.102202 corium so for your solo you are getting 0.124734 and you're getting that in x core x core is a little bit more complicated but if you want to make it simple just think of it as core x core is just an option token where they want it to hit ten dollars if it does not hit ten dollars then they're just going to give you core for that amount for your xrp this is what i was kind of talking about because there was so much xrp set in a trust line there's not really a big ratio that you're getting for it so if you had just your xrp set uh, it is 0 0.00 two four nine three x core so moving on from there i just wanted to show this chart again because i was getting a lot of questions as we were leading up to march 24th my views were skyrocketing i i think i got like sixteen thousand views on one of my videos there was another one that got like i think 12k or something like that and i just couldn't keep up with all the comments I, i'm a very small youtube channel so for me to see all of these comments coming in, people troubleshooting and uh, trying to get this airdrop, it was just, it was a lot. But the good news for that, there was a lot of people in the comments that were helping each other out. So I definitely appreciate people that were able to come in, they were able to uh, troubleshoot together and it was really like a community coming together to help people. I just couldn't keep up with everything. It was just pretty crazy. So I just wanted to bring up this chart again because I think it'll answer a lot of the questions that people had and Maybe they just didn't see it from a previous video that I did. So for your core, the airdrop will be the 1st of April, which has already happened, like I said. There's the 1st of June, the 1st of August, and the 1st of November. So it's split out 25% from those numbers that I just listed to you. Now for your solo and your XRP, you're getting 100% of that airdrop on the 15th of May. So in like another month almost, that's when you're expected to get this 
uh, airdrop for these two right here. Moving on from there, the current price of Corium is around 33 cents. So that's the number that I'm gonna be using in my calculation for this. And then I just wanted to show you here, this was the 24th when it was going live and you can see this massive sell off here. So I didn't wanna do a video uh, until this price kind of stabilized a little bit so I can give you what you actually got. There was a lot of buy pressure here and then a lot of sell pressure as well. So just wanna make sure the price was actually stable before I gave you the numbers. So here are the actual rough numbers that I got here. I have a chart for Core, I got one for XRP and I got another one for Solo. So as you can see here, I got a key. This is the price that I said is 33 cents. And then I have the rate of conversion that you would get for each of your crypto. So here I got for Core, I have 100 Core, 1000 Core, 10K Core and 100K Core. And this is just to give you a rough estimate of what you would have got based off of those numbers. So just moving into it. So this is for your core on core. If you had 100 core, you would have got 110 dropped to you and that's around 36 cents. If you had 1000, you would have got 1102, which is around 363 bucks. If you had 10K, you would have got 11,000 core dropped to you. And that is around 36, 37. If you had 100K core, you would have got 110K core dropped to you, which is $36,000. So if you're a big whale making a lot of money, good for you. Uh, moving on to solo, I have the same breakdown here. So if you had 100 solo, you would have got 12 core dropped to you, which is around $4. If you had 1000, you would have got 124 core, which is $41. 10k solo is around 1247, which would have been $411. Uh, 100k is 12 k uh, 1200 which would have been around four grand. So moving on to XRP, XRP is probably the lowest uh, amount of money that you would have got. Uh, there was just too much uh, set to the trust line to actually have a good number to go around. So for XRP, if you had 100, you would have got 0.2 core drop to you, and that's around eight cents. If you had 1,000, you would have got two, which is 82 cents. If you had 10K XRP, you would have got 24 core, which is 823. If you had 100K, you would have got 249 core drop to you, which is around 82. Not bad considering, you know, free money based off of just setting a trust line and them giving it to you. So, you know, I'm all for it. So now that we got this snapshot taken care of, we don't have to worry about that too much anymore. What's next? Well, I went in, I looked at the roadmap, scrolling down. This is all the things that we've accomplished so more. You can see the, the test net here, the mainnet launch, uh, Pretty much the only thing they got left on this is the DEX implementations. They have some IBC stuff going on and advanced DEX functions. So they're gonna add a little bit more to the DEX and some additional support for different tokens and things like that. So to be honest, I mean, yeah, they still have till 2024 with Q1, but a lot of this is uh, completed. So they're, they're definitely making progress. I don't know if you guys have seen the blockchain explorer that they kind of built here, it's pretty cool. But when I looked at the tokenomics, you go here, not even 30% have bonded their tokens. So people aren't really actually staking to validators yet. So that's why this uh, APR is still pretty high. It's 33% if you're looking to stake and get your money's worth. Personally for me, haven't had time, so I'm not staking my Corium yet, but that is something that I want to do. And the camera died, but as okay, we're back. I was talking about validators. And so as you can see here, voting power, it looks like the leading validator is the Cosmo Station followed pretty closely by Zen Lounge. So what I'm looking at is these are reputable validators. These are the ones that are not gonna get jailed. They're not gonna get slashings when it comes to your money. You know, you can trust them, but at the same time, I'm kind of torn because we want a decentralized network. So you almost want to come down and pick one of the lesser validators just so you have an actual decentralized voting pool, right? You don't want Cosmo Station to have 100% of the voting power and get to a point that they're even close to doing something like that. So that's where I'm torn. I want to pick something like these top two uh, validators that I know are going to actually take care of their validator and they're not going to lose money but at the same time, I, I need it to be decentralized. So I don't know which one I'm actually going to pick. Of course, we want to come over and look at the commission. I think 5% is really competitive when you're looking at commissions. So that's that's a good one. So if you guys have already chosen a validator, please let me know who you're using in the comments as I kind of take time to decide who I actually want to use. So that's definitely on the table for me. Anyway, moving on, I just want to point out something that Bob Ross said. He 
has a tweet here. He says, we've established a brand new networks expansion department within the foundation led by Ripple's former marketing director. This team will concentrate on five key objectives. He says, those object objectives are to attract companies, financial institutions, and independent developers to leverage Quorum's infrastructure for novel use cases. Bring recruitable stable coins to mint on Corium. That's something we definitely want. We want stable coin, stable coins. We want stable coins on Corium and to collaborate with the government for CBDC development, partner with universities across the world and run developer workshops, hackathons, and grants programs throughout the year. So I thought that was pretty cool that they're actually uh, moving into developing things on here. So then he follows up with a tweet based off of that one that says the newly established network expansion division is set to commence its contributions to the ecosystem from Monday. Expect a surge in strategic partnerships, exchange listings, and industry events as we progress. So plenty is being built on this Corium right now. We just have to kind of sit back and take it in and see what's actually going into it. So... Two last things that I want to point out really quick for people who have not actually done any staking for these validators. There is a good tutorial for Leap Cosmos Wallet that I will paste down in the description. It's really simple. I think if you've ever used Cosmos Station or something like something like that, you can pretty much figure this out. But, you know, they got pictures and everything. I think it's really simple for people to go through this and figure out what they do need to do to actually stake their core but before you do that you have to go to the solo decks here to and hit bridge so you can bridge your corium here over from the xrpl into the actual layer one that is corium to be used so that's pretty much all i got thank you to my patreon supporter kevin and if you guys got any more questions you know i'm trying to come back with these videos i just wanted to give time for the price to stabilize so i'll be back i try to make a video at least at least one video to two videos a week. And it's usually one focused around Sologenic and Corium. And then I try to throw in different kinds of crypto news or things that are going on in the sphere. So thank you all for watching and have a great week.